Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video in Ubuntu Basics, a tutorial that shows a little bit about how to work with Grid in Ubuntu 12.10 using Unity. They've changed a few features around and I want to go over this again, although I have a prior video on how to use Grid as a YouTube video. Uh, I have a file uh, and a writer file up on screen and I'm going to use Control alt with the keypad to move it around into the quadrants of the screen. Right now it is located at Control alt 3 You'll have to look at a 10 key to see how this configures. Control alt 9 that is the top right, Control alt 7 Control alt 1 and so on. They did change it around in such a manner that you cannot any longer use the Control alt combination to do a half screen left and a half screen right. What they did was use control windows key left arrow and control windows key right arrow. And I don't know why they did do this but I'm now going to show you how you can change this around to your own liking. Uh, go up to the dash home and then type in com, uh, CO for COMPIS and then select COMPIS and it'll pop right up and it gives you a warning that you're treading on dangerous ground. Type in G for grid. Let's see where is it? GR for grid. There it is. And pop up grid. And here are the bindings and here you can see that uh, let's see the top is 8, 2 is bottom, that's correct, and then 1, 3, 7, and 9, those are all correct, but the ones for left and the ones for right, those are incorrect, and I'm going to change them. And you can change them around to your own liking, whatever you want to do. So, move window to the left edge, I'm going to hit Control, Prime, uh, Control, Alt, and 4. And I'm enabling it and I'm grabbing the key combination Control Alt 4. OK. It says primary for some reason rather than Control Primary. And put right. Same thing. Grab key combination Control Alt 6. I've got that OK now. But I want to maximize I'm going to do that with Control Alt 5, Enable, Control Alt 5, OK. Now I suppose I could have picked Put Center. That may have been a better choice. I do not know. Uh, let's con close this. And now I have got Control Alt 4, Control Alt 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, and so on. Everything seems to be working, but one thing is not working. And let me explain that. If I'm up here in 9, Control Alt 9, when you hit it repeatedly, it cycles among several different sizes in that quadrant. So hitting it once, twice, again, that would be two thirds of a screen. Uh, let's see, no, three fourths, two thirds, one half, a third, a fourth, and then it cycles back again. Uh, the quadrants, the four corners, they all work, and when I hit Control Alt 5 to put it in the center and hit it repeatedly, that does not work. Also, when I hit Control Alt 4 and repeatedly hit Control Alt 4, nothing happens. This is kind of disadvantageous because uh, let's say you, you want to use F5 to put your navigator up. Uh, lots of times I will use the navigator in conjunction with the screen I'm editing 
and you have to end up doing this you'll move it over manually and similarly with the navigator you can make it smaller but it's just not quite as handy is it there is another thing you can do with all of this let me close the navigator with F5 and Control alt 7 I'm gonna put it up like that you can go back up into your system settings open up system settings keyboard shortcuts windows and with your windows you can change around how you can resize them and if you want to you can maximize the window vertically and I put in control alt V and uh, I have prior videos that show how you can change this uh, here you cannot change the the actual command but you can put in a new accelerator and uh, you can make any key combination you want to for that so this is another workaround uh, I'm control alt 7 and now I go control alt V control alt 7 and I'm going to cycle until I get it to the size I want I think that's the biggest one and now control alt V and now when I hit F5 I've got my navigator again I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos called Ubuntu Basics and my name is Pop. I've got over a hundred videos and I just recently switched over to 1210 Unity and I like it very very much except for a few small things like this that are inexplicable and I do, do not know why they uh, selected the uh, key combinations that they did for the grid there may be something that I am missing if somebody has figured this out I would sure like to hear from someone and I thank you all very much.